I'm Dr Susie Maidment, I'm a dinosaur researcher at the Natural History Museum and my role here on Mission Jurassic is to lead Crew 2, so that's a group of six people um, trying to investigate the dinosaurs and the environments that we find here in Wyoming. What we've done today is actually come off the Mission Jurassic site and move on to Bureau of Land Management land. Now this is public land in America and we have the right to walk across it and to move wherever we want within this land as, not, as long as it's not fenced off. While we can't collect vertebrate fossils on BLM land, we can collect invertebrates, um, although today we're really only looking at them. So what we've been interested in today is the invertebrates, the clams, the shellfish and the squid-like animals that were living in this Jurassic Seaway, the Sundance Sea. And we're also really interested in the depositional environments represented by these rocks. So what was the environment like at the time that these animals were living here? And we've been looking at the rocks in some detail to try to understand that. The way in which we've been looking at the rocks is that Tim and I have split off from the rest of the group and we've started at the bottom of the sequence and we're working very slowly and very carefully in a lot of detail, measuring the rocks and working upwards through this suite of rocks to look at how the grain size and the colour and the fossil content change and that really gives us an insight into the environment that these rocks are deposited in. And we're interested in this because on the Mission Jurassic site, we are finding fish and insects in these rocks. And we want to understand a little bit more about why are those fish there and, and why are the insects there? And by studying the rocks in this level of, of very, very great detail, we hope to be able to answer some of those questions. What we found so far suggests that these rocks were deposited in a lagoonal environment that was periodically flooded by full marine conditions. So we're probably seeing changes in salinity from open marine conditions to more saline lagoons. While Tim and I have been focusing on lots of detail on the rocks today, the rest of the group have been going through the invertebrate fossils that we find here. So these are shellfish and clams and squid-like animals that were living in the Sundance Sea. And they've also been splitting some of these lagoonal shales to try to find out whether they can see any other animals that would have been living in the lagoons. And they found some gryphia. These are Jurassic oysters, also known as devil's toenails. They've also found belemnites, which are animals that are closely related to squids. And they found some beautiful insects in these fine-grained lagoonal shales. It's been a really lovely day today because we've been able to get off the Mission Jurassic site and see some of the surrounding countryside and some of the surrounding rocks. It's also been beautiful and sunny um, and we found some fabulous things, so what a great afternoon.